Rainwater and snowmelt that flows across paved, hardened surfaces to the nearest storm drain becomes stormwater. This can carry pollutants directly to our local waterways. Let's look at how this applies to salt application and summer stockpiling and snow removal. Salt domes should be kept closed, with stockpiles tarped and contained during summer months, but winter months require continuous access. Salt trucks should be loaded under cover and away from storm drains. Any spillage from trucks should be immediately swept up. For additional information, see the Salt Storage Guidance Document provided by the Ohio Water Resources Council. Don't apply de-icers at a constant rate across all areas in your jurisdiction. Adjust application rates based on snow and temperature forecasts and road specifications. Many jurisdictions pre-treat areas with brine prior to an expected snowfall. This way, snow melts as it falls and less salt is used. Always make sure to identify proper locations for dumping cleared snow. Don't dump snow near ecologically sensitive areas like wetlands, near bodies of water, or near green stormwater infrastructure. Clean up salt spills after snow events and train your employees on how to prevent overuse and adverse environmental impacts. Finally, consider all de-icing options based on their lowest practicable temperature, cost per ton, and environmental impact. Remember that sand should never be used because it does not melt ice and it accumulates in streets and streams.